Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to map your alphabets to make it so much easier to use them in PE Design 11. So let's get started. So in other software, and I think even PE Design 10, when you have an alphabet, and by an alphabet I mean that they are digitized single letters like this. And the only way to do it was to bring in each letter separately like this and I picked the right ones. Yes, I did. Bring them in and then set them up. You can't really resize them because they are stitch files and they don't connect because they are still stitch files. And if you're doing a great big long letter, these are um, monogram fonts and they're from Anita Good Design. But if you wanted to write something out, it's going to be a little difficult. So let's go into option up here and it's called font creator so let's click on font creator and it opens up a separate workspace it, there's a few things that you can do with it you can bring in images and create your own fonts you can convert true type fonts and a whole bunch of different things but in this one i'm going to show you guys how to take this and make it into a keyboard font that you can just type so what i'm going to do is set standard character height from the embroidery file so you set the standard character height let's pick another one just for fun let's go up here baby k applique uh I really love these fonts, these alphabets. So select your font. And there we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You can scroll down and look at them if you want. Um, and we're, what we need to do is just pick one. So let's see for the standard size, 114. I think the letter D is a good one for that. So have it selected. You can see that there's a pink outline. Click OK. And now the multiple import is open. And it's all right there. So we want to import them all. And we can browse them if, they, if you want. But they're all selected. So let's go close. And there you go. That is literally all that there is to it. Now, if you look, it fits right into the square that we intended it to. This is the top size. Now remember, these are stitch files, so you don't want to be changing them around. Doesn't this look great though? Now all you have to do is uh, save. We are going to save this and we are going to call it Baby K Chaplet and this is six inch size so let's save and you can see it's a user mapped font so let's go to save and it's there and that's pretty much all we have to do for mapping a pre-digitized alphabet so let's get out of that and if you pick text and you see it that's not the one I just did. Okay, it doesn't show up. So all you have to do is close PE Design and then open it back up again. And let's work with it. Okay, now let's go to text and let's go right here. This is your user defined or user mapped text. Click on it and it's the first one up. So it's uh, Baby K's chaplet six inch and that is the size actually it's a five inch but who's counting now all you have to do is type let's do o oh it's very big very big on this let's just do an o then and see and there you have your letters isn't that fantastic and it's a beautiful font so let's add an m so you just type normally you just type normally. You have to give your computer a little bit of time to uh, catch up, uh, especially one as complicated as this. Now look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? To me, that is a whole lot easier than bringing them in. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so easy. And you can do this with any of the alphabets that you have. Just make sure you set the right size. And really, it went very quickly and it's easy to do. So save yourself a lot of time and do it this way. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to put 
all of my monogram fonts in here and that'll make it so much easier to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will map your alphabets to make your life a little bit easier and enjoy just typing your alphabets here inside PE Design 11. Don't forget to like this video and share with anyone who's using PE Design 11 to make their embroidery easier. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!